Hello everybody, welcome to Capture One Styles, where we build styles for Capture One to make your editing faster and easier. And today we're gonna to build a style for birding. So let's jump straight into Capture One. And the thing that birding images really have in common is that we shoot against the sky. So we have a heavily backlit subject sky in the background, and we have the subject that's typically in some shadow. That's the way that these images tend to work. Now this is an image from a workshop that I did a few years ago, but any image of a subject against the sky uh, shooting upwards like we do with birding, we're going to build a style that's going to help out with that situation. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is take our exposure and brighten it so that we can see the subject a little bit better. But this will mean we're going to bring down our highlights. Now, don't worry if you think that you might need with a lot of your images to crank the highlights down. We're actually going to deal with this in two different ways, but we're going to bring back the highlights. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the shadows. This is going to be important because underneath a bird as we shoot, there's a lot of shadowed areas. I want to pick up detail there. Then, of course, we're going to take our black slider and move that down by a little bit. I'm actually not that worried about contrast in this style of image, but if you wanted to, perhaps you could push a little bit of contrast. I'm really not going to do that on this particular style. Instead, what I'm going to do is come to my clarity tool, but I'm going to change the nature of the clarity tool. I think I want a little bit of punch with this. I'm going to take my structure and add some of that in order to really highlight all of that wonderful detail that we have when we're shooting wildlife. The next thing, of course, with any outdoor shot is typically dehaze. So we're going to grab our dehaze and we're going to push that a little bit. Now, the next thing we want to do with is deal with the sky a little bit more. And of course, that means dealing with the blues. Let's go ahead and come into our uh, color tool tab. We're going to grab our color editor and here's what we're going to do. We're not going to shift the hue of the blues. Instead, we're going to take the saturation and I think we can push that a little bit, but take the brightness down. This is why we brightened the overall image before because we could take just the blue in the sky and pull that back. And now I've got myself into a place where I feel pretty confident. Let's go ahead and take a look at before and after. And this is something I could apply to a lot of different images. So of course, I'm going to now save this as a style. The way that I'm going to do that, there's a lot of ways that we could do it, but probably one way that's just uh, a, a lot of good habits is we're going to come over to layers, right? And what we're going to do is move background adjustments, because that's what we've been doing, to a new layer. Once we've done that, we can go ahead, right click on that, and we can save the adjustments as a style. And let's go ahead and take a look at our adjustment clipboard. I want all this, the exposure, the shadow, the highlight black, the dehaze, the color adjustment, all of this I want. So I'm gonna save all of these different pieces. In this particular image, uh, if we had something that we didn't want to apply, we could of course remove it. We'll hit save and now we can call this birding and we're going to save it of course into style. So now anytime that we have an image that we want to apply this effect for heavily backlit against the sky images, we can come to our styles, custom styles, and then it's going to show up right there. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and make this style available on the website, thefstopshere.org, where I keep all of my styles. Many of them are free, so you can go and check them out there to be able to add in these little quick pieces of editing to your Capture One experience. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.